Hey everyone, so today we're going to learn about hypothesis testing on stock returns. Specifically, we're going to look at S&P 500 returns, and we're going to ask the question, was there a difference between the monthly returns before the end of 2008 and after the end of 2008 because of quantitative reasoning? And I believe that occurred around November 2008. It was proposed and it was implemented in December of 2008, first Q, QE1. So the data that we're going to be working with is from Quando. So you can just create an account with Quando and you can get access to this data set. It's a free data set and it's called multiple M U L T P L. So let's get started. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to import Quando and we're going to say Quando dot API config dot API key. And I'm just going to paste in my API key here like so. And we're just going to need two libraries today, import pandas as pd, and we're going to import numpy as np. So run that, hopefully that works. And Quando outputs a pandas data frame, and we're going to call that data frame prices. So we're going to say Quando, and it has a function dot called dot get. It actually has two functions, dot get and get table. And get table works with tabular data. We're going to be working with time series data, so we have to use the dot get function. So the name of our data set is called multiple, M-U-L-T-P-L slash SP500 real price month. So hopefully that works. Make sure that's correct. So run that. And now we just need to just plot this. Let's just take a look at what this looks like. So that plot, there we go. So there it is. There's our data frame. There's our data set that we're working with. So before we begin, we need to look at a few steps that we need to specify here. So you notice we have several steps. We have step one, which is the state or no and alternative hypotheses. Step two is we're going to identify test statistic and probability distribution. Step three is specify the decision rule. Step four, finally, is we're going to collect the data and calculate the test statistic. And then five and six, we'll make the statistical decision and our investment decision. Notice now that we don't even collect the data until step four. One, two, and three is we're still stating our hypothesis, figuring out our probability distribution, our test statistic, and our decision rule. And the reason why you're doing we're doing that, you may ask, is because we want to be honest with ourselves. We want we don't want to data mine, work with some data first, find something that's significant, and say, oh, this is the reason why. No, we want to state our hypothesis first, and then we want to either reject or accept that. So in our next video, we're going to actually state our known alternative hypotheses, and we're going to continue with understanding if there really is a difference between S&P 500 returns before 2008. So if you're interested in more, please subscribe. If you want to check out our web app called myfinquest.com, we've actually built out a hypothesis testing module where you can actually do these tests on the S&P 500 yourself. So until next time, thank you.